Let's do this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, now we can start. Hi. It's been a minute since I've seen you all here on this channel because I never post, but here I am. Just working my way back into the YouTubes. Also, there's over 10,000 of you now? What? Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you to the new people. Please comment below if you're new, if this is like my first upload since you've um, subscribed. Uh, in the middle, yeah. Also, at this point, sitting down filming this, over 800,000 views on the fitness videos, so cool. <laughs> I can't believe that many people have like watched me get like pinched and fat weighed and fat weighed. I did a seven week fitness challenge makeover on Michelle's channel and oh my God, it was one of the best experiences of my life. I'm so happy with the way my life has turned out. I'm so happy with the way the video turned out. People seem to be really enjoying it. Um, the response has been crazy and I've gotten a lot of questions. So I wanted to get on here and answer some of them for you. So most of this is going to be about that. So if you haven't seen it, you should probably go watch it because you're not gonna give two shits about what I say. But yeah, we're gonna get a little physique update. I'm gonna tell you about my fitness what I'm doing now since the video's been done. These are questions that I've kind of compiled over the last couple of weeks from the video, from my DMs. Um, they're very generalized. I've kind of taken a lot of people's questions and kind of just put them all into a, like a concise Q&A situation. So a lot of people wanna know where I'm at now, my physique update, what I've been up to since the challenge has been over. The challenge itself has been over for about mm, a month. We, yeah. So we ended the challenge right before Thanksgiving. It is currently like the Friday before Christmas. So yeah, it's about three and a half weeks. And a lot of people wanna know if I've stuck with the diet plan and if I've kept up with working out and all that stuff. So let's start with physique update. I'm gonna have to shoot that later, so I'm going to insert it right now. This is my body now. Um, it's not as, you know, slim as it was at the end of the challenge. At the end of the challenge, I had no bloating, I had no water weight. I, like, we had done a water cut, we had done all this extra stuff to, you know, make sure that we looked as good as possible for the end pictures. So, um, I'm not looking as high and tight as I was at the end, but you know what, that's okay. A lot of people were wondering how tall I am because that didn't make it in the video. So, I am 5'7". I started at 175 pounds. I am currently... Um, which is great. I'm completely satisfied with that. The biggest thing since the video's been over, the challenge has been over, has been just finding life balance. Because the whole point of the, the challenge was to cut as much weight as possible and that included a very strict diet plan. That's great, but it's not sustainable. A lot of the food that I ate was good and I still eat it. Um, points to my kitchen, which is over there. I still eat a lot of the foods um, on the diet plan and I try to stick to that diet plan. However, it is the holiday season. There have been many a holiday party. There have been some cheat meals, if you will, which I, again, I'm fine with. It makes me happy mentally and that's part of the whole life change is to like still enjoy life, but also still be disciplined in other aspects of your life. So my physique now, Yes, I'm not as toned, but I think my arms have improved. I think my arms have gotten even bigger. Um, I'm still working on a six pack. It's just under a little bit of a bloaty belly right now because I've been a bit naughty and eating some things that make me bloated. As long as I still fit in my new clothes, I'm good. As long as I still fit in that dress, that gorgeous dress that I bought for the video um, and my like new jeans, if, you, if I start not fitting in those things, it's gonna be like, okay, you gotta get your shit back together, come on, come on. And it's important to have goals. So right now, the holidays, I'm going to enjoy them. I'm still working out almost every day because I love it. I'm really enjoying the, the fitness and working out. I'll talk about that in a second. After the holidays are over, um, I have a trip to Vegas planned. So I'm planning on doing a pretty strict cut 
after the holidays leading up to that trip. I think it's only a couple weeks, so it's not going to be a very long cut, but I wanna kind of reel it in. I have plans. I have the wheels turning in my head. I have goals, but it's not gonna be always, you know, strict, 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 strict dieting. Speaking of dieting, a lot of people wanted to know what my meal plan was slash is. But before we go into that, something that didn't make it into the cut of the video because of time was a discussion of my diet restrictions. It was actually a huge aspect to the whole thing as far as my nutrition, but I do have digestive allergies. So gluten is a huge thing that I try to avoid as much as possible. And it's not just diet. It's not, you know, me trying to lose weight. It physically messes me up. Like my digestive system gets so messed up. I had something with gluten in it yesterday and I can still feel it. It feels like period cramps. Like I'm so bloated. I feel like I'm pregnant. Like it's it's not good. It's not fun. Um, and I just wanted to discuss that because the, the foods in my diet plan are based around the fact that I can't eat gluten, I can't eat soy, and I can't have dairy. So those were three big things um, that Brandon had to work around. The breakdown of my meal plan is in that video, but I will give it to you again now because I know some people are gonna ask. And I stick to this meal plan pretty much, I'd say right now, probably like 50% of the time. Right after the video, it was like 85% of the time. And after the holidays, it's gonna be going back to like 100%, I'm gonna be following this meal plan again. So I had half a cup of oatmeal and three quarter cups of strawberries in the morning. And I put a crap ton of cinnamon on it because cinnamon's good for you and cinnamon's delicious and cinnamon and cinnamon and cinnamon. And yes, just do it. Cinnamon in everything, I love it. And then I had half a cup of egg whites, two pieces of turkey bacon from this very specific brand that's like organic and good and not full of crap, which is Applegate. As a snack around 11 o'clock, I would have five ounces of unsweetened plain almond milk yogurt, almond milk yogurt because I can't have dairy, from the brand Kite Hill with half a cup of blueberries. And then for lunch, I would have six ounces of chicken, half a cup of quinoa, and some romaine lettuce just to, you know, make it a salad with some, um, a little bit of olive oil and, um, balsamic. <laughs> I think it was like a tablespoon, a tablespoon of olive oil. And my chicken was always cooked in a tablespoon of olive oil as well. Another snack later in the day, around five o'clock, I would have a cup of almond milk with a scoop and a half of Sun Warrior protein shake in chocolate. And this is a good protein shake, you guys. I've had some bad protein shakes that taste like protein and they're powdery and they're chalky. This one's delicious. It really tastes like chocolate. It's still like got that slight proteiny powdery taste, but like not as bad as other ones. And it's all organic and vegan and plant-based and it's delicious. If you need a good protein shake, get the Sun Warrior one. It's fabu. For dinner, again, six ounces of chicken, nine ounces of sweet potato as a carb. And then green beans were usually my veggie of choice just because certain leafy green vegetables make me, you know, have some digestive gassy issues. <laughs> so green beans, um, sugar snap peas, those types of things were always good. Most vegetables are considered like a free food. So no matter how much of it you have, it's only gonna be beneficial. So that is, that's the meal plan. She's good. The like, it's always filling. I was never hungry before. I was just really naughty and I was eating, you know, anything I wanted, gluten all the time. And that's what was really contributing to, you know, my bloat and just my overall like physique. Aside from just wanting to get healthy in general, getting my diet and getting those things out of my diet were the most important thing to me. I knew that I had those issues, but I just ignored them. And I was like, okay, th that's it. I can't do this anymore. I have to like take this seriously because it doesn't just affect your weight. It doesn't just affect the way you physically look it's really affecting your health, your mental health, your physical health, your brain health, all of that. If you're eating things that your body can't process properly, it's causing more issues than you are seeing. So I wanted to get that under control. It was really important to me. Ooh, huge question that I got a ton was if I still drink, if I've cut it out. Um, 
I only drink special occasions. Before the challenge, I wouldn't say that I drank a ton, but I drank. Beer was often my drink of choice, and now I can't have that pretty much at all. Since the challenge has been over, there has been a lot of like holiday parties and there has been drinking. Um, but within reason and once the holiday season's over i've stopped i don't keep alcohol in my house like i don't buy it goal is to just not keep it around and not have it be a casual thing that i do but if you're doing a cut if you're trying to lose weight don't do alcohol because it it's just going to stunt your girl like it's just going to stunt your your progress so my current fitness plan is a little bit all over the place i'm not going to lie to you i have a baseline knowledge of how to maintain what i have now that doesn't mean I go to the gym and I'm like hoo, 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 like all over the place like an expert. I'm not. I'm just focused on continuing the habit. I go to the gym almost every day, again, because I enjoy it. I genuinely enjoy it. A lot of people are asking how I stay motivated and I stay motivated because I like it. After I finish filming this, I'm gonna clean my face and I'm going to do a late night run at the gym just because I want to. As far as workout plan, during the challenge, it was one day of upper body, one day like focused on lower body, and then a third day was kind of all over and abs. And then in between those days, I would do 30 to 45 minutes of cardio. Um, I would try to, after like the first couple of weeks, my goal was to run a mile. And then after that mile, I would just speed walk for whatever the remainder of the time was. Usually I could do a 10 minute mile if that's bad. Sorry, I don't really know like running stats and then i would walk for half an hour and that usually burned off like 500 calories around around there but yeah i like to switch it up some days it just depends on how my body feels some days i won't feel like running and i'll do the stairmaster instead or i will be completely unmotivated and i'll take a class but i definitely need extra help in the workout plan department so i did buy an online gym guide by someone i followed for a while now her name's mari llewellyn i'll put her instagram here and i'll put it below She's awesome. I really relate to her weight loss journey. I really relate to her body type. I really relate to her approach with fitness. I am obsessed. I think she's so cool. She's so cute. And her gym guides are lifting based. And that's what I'm really into right now. Since working with Nick, he got me really into lifting. I love lifting. It just makes you feel so badass. Like it's just so cool. Uh, and it's very effective. It gives you great results. Mari's guide, I'm on her gym guide one. I can probably advance to her second gym guide, but I just haven't because I just haven't spent the money on it. She also makes some products. She makes really great resistance bands. She also has a YouTube channel that she puts great content up on. If you think of, you know, physical fitness, going to the gym, it's like a language. Basically, I've learned the ABCs. I've learned the letters. If you asked me to write a fluent essay with proper grammar, I would struggle. Like, I would not be able to do it. So, using Mari's guides has kind of given me like a template or like a, you know, a fill in the blank kind of situation where I like, I know the words and I know the vocabulary, but I can't piece it all together myself. I need a little help in that department. I do like upper body one day, lower body one day. Um, there might be like a glute centric day. It just kind of depends on the guide. Um, and then in between I do cardio and I try to throw in as many, you know, classes as I can just to keep it fun. I don't magically after this experience consider myself like a fitness guru. I'm still on the journey. I'm still falling in love with it. I'm still, you know, finding my way and I have a long path ahead of me. So the best advice I can give is seek help and just start. I know that that's so vague and I know that it's so simple and that's frustrating. I get it. I was once on the other end of this as well. I wanted help. I wanted guidance and I didn't know how to start. And you just kind of have to start. If you have a friend that's into fitness, ask them to help you. Um, if you need to get a personal trainer for even just like a week, just to kind of help you feel like build confidence in the gym, then do that, invest in that. There's so much information available now on the internet. It's there, there are no excuses. If you're having trouble figuring it out now, you will figure it out. If I could figure it out, if I could get to this point, and if I could fall in love with fitness and fall in love with going to the gym and eating healthy, you certainly can, trust me. 
um, but it's not always perfect. I'm not one of those like fitness YouTubers that's got their beautiful marble bowl full of a beautiful acai bowl that they've crafted and they put a perfect drizzle of honey over it. That is not real. That's not real at all. The hardest part during and still now is the planning, the planning ahead, making sure you have the food that you need in your fridge ready to go, making sure that you've prepped everything when it's ready to go. My weakest moments, the, the moments where I fail, those weak moments are a result of, I didn't plan well that day. That's the struggle. Um, making sure I'm going to the grocery store and you know doing all that, it's hard. It's the mental game is the hardest part for me. Physically, I can get my ass to the gym, that's fine. It's the moments when you get home and all you wanna do is go to bed, but you have to meal prep 10 pieces of chicken for the rest of the week. For the most part, I've been able to stick with everything and I've felt a huge improvement in my life, huge. Um, I couldn't be more grateful for the experience and for the things that I learned, but it's not over. It's not over until it's over, you know what I mean? Like, until you're dead on the ground. Like it's, the rest of my life, it's going to be a challenge of finding balance. Word of the day is balance. Finding that balance and finding, you know, self-love. Self-love, not so much loving what you see in the mirror, but taking care of what you see in the mirror, taking care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. Putting time and putting effort into your health should be much more important to people. And it's not 100% about your image. It's part of it. Because when you like what you see in the mirror and if you're proud of what you see in the mirror, you're going to be more confident, you're gonna feel better. A lot of aspects of my personal life have improved just because I'm more confident. The way I walk down the street, I'm more confident. Um, and it's not like, oh, I'm hot now. I like was ugly and fat before. That's not it. It's just, I'm confident, I like what I see in the mirror, and there's all, all this other mentality, like mental things that's backing up what I see in the mirror. Does that make sense? <laughs> there's a lot of effort and a lot of, a lot of, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I'm taking care of myself and I've earned to look this way. And that is going to fuel me and feed my soul and overall my life is going to improve. And that's what's been happening and that's, if anybody can take anything away from my experience, that would be it. Those were kind of the general questions that I was getting. Um, I kind of just wrapped them all up in this little moment for you. Hopefully I answered some of your questions. Um, if I didn't, feel free to comment below and I will do my best to respond. Um, I try to respond to all my DMs on Instagram. Y'all have been so loving, so supportive, so great. I can't... I still can't get over it. I don't think I ever will. It's really insane. Thank you so much for watching Extreme Body Makeover. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, thank you so much for subscribing if you're a new subscriber. I can't believe that there's over 10,000 of you. That's crazy. And before anyone asks, I did film a tutorial on this makeup look. So if you are enjoying it, I'm gonna show you how to do it and it's gonna go up soon. It will be going up after this Q&A. Um, so comment below, questions, comment below, suggestions for videos. What do you wanna be seeing? I wanna know. Um, Cause God knows I can't think of video ideas on my own. <laughs> it is the holidays, so happy holidays to everybody. I love you so much. Um, yeah, I will see you soon. Bye. I don't actually know what I'm doing, but, um, okay.